Ah, yes, body fat. The squishy, jiggly, panic inducing variable that makes gym bros cry and ancient humans survive winners. But here's the plot twist body fat isn't just about aesthetics or abs that could slice ham. It's a bioactive tissue that might just be plotting your longevity or your slow hormonal demise. So today, we're breaking down every hidden advantage of your body fat percentage. From barely there dehydrated lizards to human beanbags with surprisingly good immune systems. No judgment, just science, sarcasm, and six tiers of adipose audacity. 5 to 9% body fat, the dried out Greek statue. Welcome to aesthetic hell, where your abs pop, but so does your cortisol. At 5-9% to 9% body fat, your veins are GPS lines, your face is sharper than your sarcasm, and your gym selfies hit harder than a dopamine detox. This is the cover model zone, the level fitness influencers hit for exactly one week a year and pretend it's just my lifestyle, bro. The hidden advantage? Your insulin sensitivity is elite. Your body becomes a nutrient partitioning wizard. Carbs go to muscle, not fat. Your inflammation markers are so low, they'd pass out at a CrossFit box. You're metabolically gifted. But the downside? Your libido might be pronounced gone. Testosterone levels tank, your mood is grumpy, and you're one salad away from a nervous breakdown. Evolution didn't design us to be shredded. It designed us to survive winners. 10 to 14% body fat, the functional weapon. Now we're talking. This is peak male performance. Not as in alpha male podcast, but as in your body and brain are firing on all cylinders without the side effects of being peeled like a banana. This is where elite athletes, fighters, and superhumans with day jobs tend to hang out. Advantage? You're still insulin sensitive, testosterone is chillin', recovery is efficient, and your joints aren't crying themselves to sleep. You're lean enough to look good with your shirt off, but not so lean that your hormones need therapy. Your organs are covered, your muscles are fueled, and you're ready to both deadlift and debate politics without blacking out. Downside? Honestly, not many. The main threat is sustainability. Unless you're training consistently and eating like a spreadsheet, you might slide up or down. But biologically, chef's kiss. 15 to 19% body fat. The balanced human who eats pizza sometimes. This is the Goldilocks zone of body fat. Not too lean, not too soft, just the perfect place to exist without becoming a walking macro calculator or a TikTok before and after thirst trap. The hidden advantage? Your hormones are thriving. Testosterone, estrogen, thyroid, cortisol, the whole hormonal Avengers cast is in harmony. Your immune system is chill, your skin is hydrated, and your brain is sharp enough to remember where your keys are and why you walked into the kitchen. Bonus points, you're harder to kill. A little extra fat acts like a biological bubble wrap, cushioning organs, regulating temperature, and giving your body a metabolic safety net if you get sick or start skipping meals for spiritual reasons. Downside, you might not be shredded, but you are sustainable, which in this economy is a win. 20 to 24% body fat the cozy overachiever. This is where the fitness industry gets mad, but the longevity data starts nodding in approval. Turns out, having a little padding is great for immune resilience, estrogen regulation, and long-term survival, especially as you age. In women, this range is often hormonally optimal. In men, it means your body is stocked up for emergencies, like snowstorms or accidental juice cleanses. Advantage? More soluble vitamin storage, better leptin signaling, and fewer stress fractures than your shredded cousin who lives off boiled chicken. You still look good in clothes, you still wake up with energy. And when you sit down, 
her organs aren't directly grinding on your hip bones. Downside? Insulin resistance starts peeking through the window. Your mitochondria aren't firing on all cylinders, and your visceral fat might begin showing up like a toxic X, slowly, quietly, but ready to ruin things from the inside. Still, this range is way healthier than most influencers will admit. 25-29% to 29% body fat. The fluffy functionalist. Welcome to the soft but solid zone. You're not magazine cover lean, but you're also not about to be featured in a pharmaceutical ad wearing loose khakis and fake smiling at a salad. So what's the advantage here? Survivability. You have extra energy reserves, aka stored fuel, which, from an evolutionary standpoint, makes you literally an apex prepper. If the power goes out, the food runs dry, or your fridge mysteriously contains nothing but mustard and almond milk, you'll last longer than your shredded gym buddy. Your joints are happier, your skin ages more slowly. And unless you're stacking visceral fat like a hoarder snacks Tupperware lids, you're probably metabolically okay. Also, you're warmer in winter. And yes, that counts. Downside? Insulin sensitivity is dropping. Inflammation's creeping in. Your risk for metabolic syndrome, fatty liver, and cognitive decline starts edging upward, like a passive-aggressive Fitbit notification. But you can still move well, laugh hard, and carry groceries in one trip, all of which are anti-aging superpowers if we're being real. 30% plus body fat. The overfed underdog. This is where society gets judgy. But let's talk about biological truths, not fat-phobic hot takes. Yes, at this level, health risks go up. But there are some surprising advantages hiding in those adipocytes. For one, brain reserve. Some research suggests that people with higher body fat may experience slower cognitive decline as they age, possibly due to the higher leptin and estrogen levels protecting neural function. Also, you have higher circulating stem cells, more stored fat-soluble vitamins, and a powerful, if ironic, anti-wasting buffer in the event of illness or trauma. In critical illness studies, higher body fat sometimes correlates with better survival rates. It's called the obesity paradox, and it's as confusing to scientists as TikTok trends are to anyone over 30. And if you're here, and moving, walking, lifting, stretching, you're still winning. But let's not sugarcoat it, pun intended. The risk for insulin resistance, heart disease, joint degeneration, and hormonal imbalance increases significantly. Visceral fat turns into an angry endocrine organ, spitting out cytokines like a toddler with a marker and a wall. Still, your body is not broken. It's adaptable. And the biggest hidden advantage? Your body is always willing to change, given the right habits, fuel, and patience. So yeah, body fat isn't the enemy. It's an organ, a storage unit, a heat blanket, a hormone factory, a survival tool, and, depending on how you work with it, a weapon or a weakness. There is no perfect number. There is only context. Your lifestyle, your goals, your health markers, your stress levels, your genetics. So instead of chasing the next six-pack cult, get to know your body fat like it's a misunderstood roommate. Because once you stop hating it, you can start optimizing it. And maybe, just maybe, Appreciate the fact that it's been quietly trying to keep you alive this whole time. Subscribe for more science, satire, and mitochondria-filled truth bombs. This is Mitochondria Mafia.